Hello and welcome to my first video series on why science and religion disagree from a Hindu perspective. I am a Hindu and for 30 years of my life I believed in science and religion equally. They both offered some good incentives and also had some flaws like so like science believes that all humans evolves evolved from apes we were once apes this is very famous everybody knows that also science believed that God did not create religions all religions were created by humans and some scientists even go further and say that there is no God the universe started from nothing so are those science claims true we know science gave us mobile phone cars electricity atoms you know like so they can't be crazy you know and on the contrary though all religion believe that uh, we should do good and no evil but some religion stories were like uh, one lord hanuman flew and eat our son no and then when it sank under the ocean by a demon that uh, Hinaksh, his name was I guess the Lord Vishnu took a form of uh, uh, actually a pig god I don't know and then he, he dove down the ocean killed the demon and removed the removed the earth from under the ocean on his horns you know so it looks like these stories were created when these old Rishi Munis, uh, these uh, Pandits of religion, they did not understand that the sun is not so small. It's, if we are sitting from the earth and looking at the sun, then it just looks like a size of a soccer ball. And when maybe an eclipse would have happened somewhere in India, and they came up with a story like this, you know. And also, the another story when it sank on the ocean now if we see google map there is no ocean outside of it so where did the it sink i know for other religions this sto story seems funny but all religions have stories like this so are if religion were created by a god how could god make such mistakes so it's kind of makes sense that uh, most of the religion were created by people who did not understand uh, how our earth and solar system worked but what about science <laughs> science understands everything so how can they believe that we came from ape if also if we came from ape then why do we look so different did we evolve from different ape in dif different places of the earth also uh, our Apes not evolving now, we can see. And uh, the claim that all religion were created by humans makes much sense if you look at claims like this. Anyway, let's. Uh, so I decided to study a lot about science, watch a documentary channel, and I stumbled upon Darwin's theory of evolution. Let's discuss what Darwin's theory of evolution says. I know it says from we, we all came from apes which sound crazy but let's try to understand that eh? so Darwin yeah. so Darwin's theory of evolution Darwin actually uh, took about right lasting him 20 years to from you no know, like this is the voyage path he took went all the course remember he did not sit at his home under a tree for five, ten years, wondering how the world and everything works, and wrote a book. He actually went out and did some research. So on his path, he collected fossils, and and then he stumbled upon this place, Gala, G is hidden here, Galapagos Islands. There, Darwin saw a turtle. A turtle, which is, see this place has scattered islands, yeah, and all kinds of varied animals are there. So he saw a turtle living on the island which has green grass, and the turtle was green. And he went, uh, he took a boat and went to the nearby island which has not much green grass, and the soil was pretty much brown. 
and he saw the same species of turtles whose uh, shell were brown. So Darwin sit there and thought, this is how the theory of evolution was brought, brought upon. Eh? He thought, did God made a brown turtle for the brown island and a green turtle for the green island? Oh, is these both turtles are same species and on the green island, if all the brown uh, turtles which were slightly brown were eaten by predators because they were easier to see and all the green ones survive and uh, had children more, more more children and now all the turtles on the green island are green and same thing happened on the brown island all the green turtles were obvious to see and the predators ate them and now all the brown turtles they thrived and now it remains this is how species change wow so it got him wondering and he collected a lot of fossils even in Darwin's time people found fossils like dinosaur bones but they didn't know what that was eh? because we never seen a creature that big in Indian history we thought uh, they were some big demons you know uh, or we we have even stories that uh, our, our the demons in the age when they were fighting goat they can no transform and take very large shapes so maybe we thought the dinosaur bones were demons and eh? we have no idea and then christian mythology thought that, that uh, when god created the heavens dinosaurs and humans were living together so that it didn't even make much sense as like indian mythology eh? so so darwin took those fossils back to his home he studied them for five years and wrote a book that book was uh, that book called uh, Darwin's Theory of Evolution by Natural Selections. The, oh, sorry, the book was the book was called The Origin of Species by Darwin uh, in the means of natural selection. And in that book, he made three very bold claims, which religion, which were which we did not agree with religion at all. And the claims were okay. Darwin claimed that life was millions of years old which didn't even make sense to science at that time because Darwin was in on in 18th century because science thought that the, the even the earth was not millions of years old so how come life was millions of years old the second claim that Darwin made was that life started very simple single cell animal with very simple DNA and all that with and then evolved into complicated organisms like us and the third claim Darwin made that simple organisms changed because they were not supposed to change they were supposed to stay simple they changed because the changes in nature like for example the turtle example I gave earlier that uh, the color of the turtle changed because they had to change if the, if all the turtle on the brown island were green they should they all would have been eaten by predators to save to to survive the species the species has to change and adapt to nature that's how species change from simple organism to complicated now I know none of the claims didn't even make sense to the scientists at that time but now we have lot of science equipment and we are not in 18th century anymore so let explore Darwin's claim one by one in our next video tutorial next video discussion feel free to comment on the video and like the video till next time thank you